Hi, it's Fanny of Living Rich on a Budget. Today, I'm gonna make Instant Pot chocolate covered strawberries. Did you know that your Instant Pot can also be a double boiler? Well, I consulted a pastry chef to get the best tips on how to make chocolate covered strawberries. So let's get started. Here are some tips from my friend who's a pastry chef. Thanks, Jason. For the best tips on how to make chocolate covered strawberries. Tip number one, use chocolate melting wafers. First of all, professionals use this and you want to use what they use so you can get professional results. And what the chocolate melting wafers does versus chocolate chips is that it has an added oil or cocoa butter so that once it dries, it's meant to be melted down and dried. And so once it dries, it'll have a sheen and also uh, it kind of has a magic shell effect. So it'll dry quickly, like within a minute or two. And tip number two is to use a metal mixing bowl because you're dealing with heat and if you try to use a glass mixing bowl, you chance breaking it because of the temperature changes. And also it has a higher chance of getting stuck to the Instant Pot. Tip number three is to start with a low temperature. So in this video, I, I use saute mode on low. The first time I tried this, I did high on saute mode and I ended up uh, overcooking the chocolate because it ended up clumpy. So that when it ends up clumpy, it means you overcooked the chocolate. Tip number four is to not refrigerate the chocolate covered strawberries if you can. If you're gonna serve it within an hour or two after making it, then leave it out because once you put it in the fridge, it's gonna have condensation. But if you have to serve it or give it as a gift, you know, after two hours of making it, then by all means, refrigerate it to keep it fresh. But it has to be eaten within 24 hours. We're gonna start with the Instant Pot lid off and we're gonna pour in one cup of water. We're gonna use saute mode. So we're gonna press saute and we're gonna make sure it's on less. So there's three settings. It's less normal and more. We went out on less and used the adjust button to get to less. We're gonna start with the dark chocolate first. And usually I tell you on saute setting to wait till it says hot, but you don't really have to wait do that for this. You can start trying to melt it maybe after like a minute. Already I hear it boiling, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. The sides are gonna get hot, so make sure you use an oven mitt. I'm just gonna stir it. See, it's already melting. I mean, Instant Pot says hot now, but you know, it's already melting before that. And there's gonna be some steam coming out from the sides. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat. Now we're ready to dip the strawberries in. So you wanted to give it, do a twist, try to get all of it covered. And just hold it by the stem. And try to drip off as much as you can because once you lay it down, it's just going to solidify as is. And also kind of, I also like to tilt the pan so that I can get them, get all the chocolate in one spot so I can dip it easier. So I can get it completely covered. And you probably want to make more strawberries than you think you'll need just in case you mess up on some so you have some backup ones that'll look good and this just makes a great gift for people i mean how often do you get chocolate covered strawberries for someone as a gift it's not often when i lay down the chocolate covered strawberries i put it on a piece of parchment paper you have to have parchment or wax paper otherwise it's just going to stick to the surface of the plate and it's going to be hard to clean as you can see, it's already drying up. Um, this is the first one we did, and it's already hard. See, it's already solidified. You don't even have to fridge it for that to happen. And it has a little bit of sheen. It's a little bit shiny. We're going to do a bag for piping chocolate. So we're going to grab some of this chocolate and put it into a Ziploc. So this is just a regular sandwich size Ziploc. You want to get the chocolate in here before it gets hard. 
And then we're going to let this cool off a little bit so that we can actually handle it. Now we're going to switch to the white chocolate. So I'm going to take my pan out. This is slightly hot, but it's cooled down now. So we're going to check out our water level. Um, some of the water evaporated, so we're going to pour in more just to like the halfway mark, right above, right in between the two and the bottom of the pan. Then we're going to put in another metal pan. This one's bigger. And we're going to start the process again. I'm going to do saute in less mode. I'm going to pour in the white chocolate chips now. And get my oven mitt on. I'm going to start stirring it. I just think it's safer to use metal a metal mixing bowl versus glass because also when you clean this, you'll notice that it hardens at room temperature, so all this chocolate that you leave on whatever surface, whether it's this bowl or the spatula, is just going to harden. And the way to wash it is you're going to have to use boiling hot water. Another tip is you can, if you want to clean it right away, it'll come off easier. I'm ready to press cancel. We're going to dip our strawberries in the white chocolate. Again, I like to tilt it to get it to get the chocolate to pull in one area. I'm done dipping the strawberries in white chocolate, so now we're going to put it into a Ziploc bag again. For piping. My dark chocolate is starting to harden, so let's do the piping. So we can cut a teeny tiny hole here in the corner. So I'm pushing all the chocolate here, cut a teeny tiny hole. Piping is tricky because it comes out, you gotta do it quick. So do practice. I'm gonna do the drizzle like that. Didn't turn out too good. Not perfect, but I tried. <laughs> if you're not comfortable doing this, I would just leave it alone and not pipe it. I mean, it's perfectly fine as is, but if you want to try, you know, just have extras on hand. If I don't like this one, try another one. Still a little hot, but you know, I'm going to cut the corner again. Better luck with this. <laughs> I don't like this one and this one. So I'm going to switch it out. Nobody knows. We're going to let these dry and plate them up. I just took a bite. Look at that. You can see the sheen I'm talking about. how it dries and it's you know the coating is smooth and you want that you want it to look professional so I'm gonna lift these out and plate them but just want to let you know you can break these pieces off here's our chocolate covered strawberries one in dark and one in white chocolate and we made this in an instant pot it's really easy you can do it too uh, if you're scared of piping I would just skip it and you know just start with the most basic just start with the regular chocolate first get comfortable and then try piping. 
So if you're wondering how to package the strawberries, you can put it into a 32 ounce strawberry container. So just reuse your straw the box that the strawberries came in. And you can, you know, tie with a ribbon or whatever and make it look nicer. But just put parchment paper in the bottom, line it with that. And there you go, you have a gift for that special someone. If you like this video and my heart shirt, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to get notified about my latest videos like this. I want to know who you're going to make this chocolate covered strawberries for. Let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.